video number four in this series of eight videos relating to application entry in sales tools. In this video or in this webinar, we're going to look at the product search uh, for Thomas Ferris and his application for an owner occupied property. Um, we can see now that uh, if we look at our podium quick guide, we've just completed the client needs analysis and this is the area we have to complete now is the, is the product search. So if we click across into product search, you'll see here, you'll have the, the loan amount up the top, the LVR, and then you've got to go through and select your tabs here in terms of what is applicable and then also the common features. You'll see at the moment here, the search results are nil. So there's nothing down the bottom here. And once we hit search up the top here, then all our search results will come through here. So we hit search. You'll see we come through here. 262 results. So what we can do from here, the default setting is alphabetical by lender. Uh, if we expand, um, we're just going to pick up a couple of big four bank loans here. So the first one is ANZ. So we click on the here and then we just, we'll just click on our product and it will automatically, you'll see it's added it to the short list. So we can press that one. Uh, there's a couple of other ones we'll grab in a moment, but you're just in terms of sorting through these. If I wanted to see cheapest by rate, I just click on this and I can put cheapest by rate and then also highest by rate as a double click. I can revert rate, comparison, LVR, upfront fees. I can flick it around and see the cheapest by upfront fees monthly and annual. I can click it around by annual and then by the most expensive, um, and then I can default back if I want back to the lender by alphabetical. I've already got my A and Z, so now I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna search for my Commonwealth Bank, I want a standard variable, and I'll just pick up that, that one. Again, it will come up and say it's come through. I'll compress that one. I'll now go through and I'll get my NAB product here. So just a straightforward, best or base variable. Again, straight through onto the product shortlist and then I'll pick up my, get my old rocket repay home loan here and it'll go through. So I've got, four, I should have four products now. If I scroll back up the top here, uh, I've got my product shortlist. I can see there's four. So there's my uh, shortlist. So what I can do here, a great feature is I can click on the document on here and have a look at the lender documents, interest rates, forms, and supplementaries. So I can go through those. But what one of the great things I can do is I can then I can click on just two of them, three of them. I can click on all of them, and then view product details, and then that will put them side by side. You can see I can scroll across further but that will put them side by side. I can also go and print this off as well. I would be slightly careful with this uh, because if you print off and do a comparison, it may well provide the client with the information that allows them to then go, I'll just go back into a, a bank now and I'll get what I want. So uh, this is probably more for your own reference than, than the clients, but, uh, if you've got the client on board and um, and you trust in trust that they they're locked into you, I guess then um, that's um, up to you to decide whether you want to pass that over to them. Uh, but it's a great little feature that, and that is view product details, compare comparing them all. All right, our next step in the process will be simulation and comparison. We'll tackle that in webinar. webinar five, sorry, in this series of eight. Um, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, and I thank you for joining us for our product search.